Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. And I'm Karina. And we have secured a suggestion uh, that we must contain uh, and protect. Why? Because th- th- that's just what we gotta do. It's SCPs. They're like fun, fun science fiction slash magical realism slash whatever you want. Creep, creepy, creepy, crawly, fun internet stories. <laughs> Um, so I've, we've, I've got a list of some of the highest rated ones, and I'm just going to randomly choose them for you to draw, my friends. Huh. I love to draw. Thank you, Nathan. I draw. Yeah. 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 Here comes one. Karina, your SCP is SCP-1000. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> That sounds very futuristic. And I cool. know. It is an object class Skeeter. Skeeter from Skeeter. Duck? Skeeter, <laughs> a restaurant I know from my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. We'll all get. <laughs> hey, it's me with the references for nobody. <laughs> As someone who has referenced the Wiz, a Long Island staple, so it's all good. Like the movie? Like the cheese? Like the movie. Nathan, what's the skeeter? Nathan, we need deets. SCP-1000 is a nocturnal omnivorous ape classified in the Hominini branch along uh. with genera Pan and Homo. Dude, I could use a Hominini <laughs> right now. Oh, God. Get a Hominini panini? Like a chicken Hominini. <sighs> pepper jack cheese. Nathan, none of these words mean anything to me. <laughs> yes, tell us the words that mean something, not the words that don't mean it's anything. It's a, a nocturnal omnivorous ape. What's That means stuff, right? They have gray, brown, black, red, and occasionally white fur. They possess large eyes with good vision, a pronounced brow ridge, a (laughs) sagittal crest on the forehead similar to that of a gorilla, but present in both sexes. Is this grimace? Is this what a grimace is? Grimace? What part of that (laughs) made you think of grimace? Multicolored. Grimace is only purple. He's specifically not multicolored. I... the grimace species. Maybe there are other colors of grimaces out there. <laughs> we only know the purple one, Jacob, but there are a, a beautiful rainbow of grimaces out there in the wild that the, the SCP Foundation is trying to contain. Which number is grimace? I haven't found grimace, unless this is grimace, in which I case it's, one, find it's 1,000. Maybe it's grimace. We're all looking to find grimace. No one has been able to capture Grimace yet. Yeah. (laughs) I'll keep reading. SCP-1000 evolved alongside Homo sapiens, existing contemporaneously with proto-humans and humans in large numbers until 10,000 to 15,000 years ago, when an extinction event eliminated all but 1 to 5% of their population. This event was triggered by SCP-1000 contracting an anomalous pseudo disease classified as scp 1000 f1 wait the disease was an scp also yeah dang okay that'll get you i love scp entries because they use words that like seem big but aren't yeah they sound like they're saying something but it's it's just like wizard words from Harry Potter, <laughs> wizard words. like like from the Wiz, <laughs> from the Wiz, yeah, like from the Wiz, yeah. The effects of SCP one thousand F one that's the disease. Oh, thank you. Uh, is as follows: any hominid, including humans, chimpanzees, bonobos, and non immune instances of SCP one thousand that directly or indirectly observes any instance of SCP one thousand has a minimum 2% chance of being instantly killed through anomalous means via permanent cessation of brain function. Whoa. What? So if you see one of these crazy monkey men and it's got the disease, you could just die from looking at it. You could just die from looking at it, so be careful. Don't look. Yeah, I hope everyone's being safe. Put on your your SCP-1000 glasses before you watch this portion. I heard you can just make those like out of a shoebox. 
yeah, you poke a hole yeah. in it and yeah. don't don't look directly at it. Yeah. I don't know what a monkey looks like. I really like this head you've made. It's like so alien and it's like a, a <laughs> loris. <laughs> well, you, he's got a big eyes because it's nocturnal, so it needs to be really dilated. Yes. I know about biology. Are there any uh, it's uh, humanoid? It's an ape you can't look at. All yeah, right. It's an ape you can't it's look the, at. It's the most dangerous kind of ape, the, the kind you can't look at. <laughs> you thought apes were dangerous? Well, you haven't seen this one because you can't. You can't see it. <laughs> and you should be thankful. <laughs> it's the John Cena of apes. You can't see it. <laughs> Maybe John Cena is one of these. You gave it Targier face. Yeah, because I like those. <laughs> it's a strong Targier. <laughs> it's just a strong Targier with a brow ridge. I'll give it a Targier nose too. This Targier will beat your ass if you look at it. <laughs> it's like, sorry, bro, it's the disease. <laughs> Should have looked at me. Are you looking at me? <laughs> Your brain function's <laughs> about to cease because I'm going to beat it. <laughs> Aww. About to slap that head Strong around. Strong Targier. I'm I just like- I love this pose. Thinking about <laughs> if there- Because you said there used to be like a bunch of these living in a society together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they That's live in a society. <laughs> so funny to imagine. There were a lot of them and then they got the disease where you can't look at them. Are they sentient- I'm sorry, I mean intelligent. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, I searched for intelligence here, and this is in the um, ooh, level three clearance required for this bit. Uh, this is a document alpha 1596-1000 missive from Director Jones. Um, <laughs> oh, I know that guy. Oh, sh oh wow. Okay. <laughs> You want to share with the class? There's no such thing as the anomalous pseudo disease referred to as SCP 1000 F1. Oh my God. What? There's no such look? thing as a pseudo disease. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, what, why is everyone dying when they look at this guy? SCP yeah. 1000 does not possess a magical death aura. In fact, SCP 1000 <laughs> does not directly exhibit any anomalous effect whatsoever. What? Well, why did we? Why did you Go tell on. us it did? We this? also yeah. lied about SCP 1000's intelligence level. SCP 1000 aren't chimp level smart. They're smarter. <gasps> to be precise, they are exactly as smart as us. Exactly. Exactly as us, like us four. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Director Jones lied. <laughs> wow. Why'd you lie, Director Jones? I hate that guy. <laughs> oh my God, tiny legs. Why yes. are you always lying? Okay, as you've already read, the apes we call SCP-1000 evolved alongside us. We walked in the daytime and they walked in the nighttime, our nocturnal siblings in the shadows. But while we were still wandering hunter-gatherers, <laughs> they changed like mm. we would a few thousand years later. Tools, weapons, agriculture, domesticated animals, stable settlements. They lived in a society. Uh, we live in a society. <laughs> we, we called it. As humanity blinked in the Pleistocene sun, SCP-1000's population exploded across the night. They blanketed the planet in tens of billions. They made what? things that we still can't comprehend, even though... We've thoroughly studied the surviving species, organic technology. They made trees and birds of prey grow into fast-moving ships, herds of animals that became trains, bushes that became flying vehicles. From insects and pigeons, they made things equivalent to cell phones, televisions, <laughs> computers, atomic bombs. <laughs> Come on, I think he's lying again. The children describe vast shining cities stretching no. across glaciers and penetrating the deepest caverns. He's making it up. Grown sky ships <laughs> of ivory and spider silk. Creatures tending them with hundreds of blinking eyes. We would know if they did all that. We were rare like gorillas now. A few hundred thousand left at best. We avoided their settlements just like wild animals today avoid ours. So they made all of that, and then now it's just there's zero of that? 
Yeah. yeah what, ha- what happened to them? We we messed it up because we're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but none of us remember any of that happening at all. They had yeah. freaking flying bushes and <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, their civilization fell, and we did it. And by we, I don't mean the foundation. By we, I mean humanity. Damn. Wow, we stupided them out of existence. How did we do it? It seemed like they had a pretty rad setup. The story is muddy. Supposedly, a trickster forest god showed humanity favor (laughs) and showed us the master's tools and how to use them. Yeah. Is this the plot of Assassin's Creed? We were just like a thousand years behind them, but somehow we... Well, we we somehow uh, acquired their own technology. I do remember the chapter where Desmond hooks into the machine and then goes back to, uh, uh, you know, ancient Italy and does talk to this creature. Yeah, this is Leonardo da Vinci. This, this is, is him. Yeah, this is what Leonardo da Vinci was. <laughs> I was listening to some beats. Yeah, those used to be um, Blue Jays. <laughs> oh, they're Bluetooth now. Yeah, they they invented that. And that those glasses used to be um, paprika. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This is why he couldn't hear us coming. He had the Blue Jays in his ears. <laughs> and we got him. <laughs> I think that this is what the words you said to me mean. Yeah. Just yeah. a really strong little boy. <laughs> Maybe. Does it say how big they were? It's, it's Bigfoot. I mean, this isn't. Yeah, I want to think this is different. That they're small. Th- this is the this is the SCP lore for Bigfoot, and I love it. We wiped out seventy percent of their population in a single day, and then we completely forgot about it. That yep, we left no traces, not even our own memory. We turned one <laughs> of the weapons on ourselves, wiped out any knowledge of SCP one thousand and the greatest Why? civilization the planet had ever seen. Why do we do that? You know, who's to say? <laughs> Why wouldn't we want to remember that? We d- we For just decide we well I the forest god. Oh yeah, the forest you know? trickster oh, god. Right, yeah, that'll do it. That's his wedding ring. Oh, okay. It used to be yeah, it used to be um lava. No, that makes sense. Um I can't think of things. It was I'm dandelions. Too stupid. It was yeah. dandelions, and now it's a wedding ring. Yeah, like the soft bits. Yeah. At, at least now we know that you, there's no death aura, that we made that up. Yeah. The death aura was fake. Wow. It's <laughs> the, the twists and turns that these entries take on the SCP website, really. Yeah. It's like, I only thought there was a death aura because that's what you told me like yeah. a couple minutes ago, and I had no other frame of reference, so I just believed you. <laughs> okay. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for just random picking Bigfoot, it turns out. But it was good. I made my own. I made yeah. I made him my own. I've made him better. Yeah, he's great. I mean, we've only ever seen the blurry photos, so it could look like this for real. We don't yeah. know. This could be what they looked like before he the fall. He wove these socks himself out of river stones. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so majestic. <laughs> there. There he is. S S CP 1000. Amazing. <laughs> good. This is I really like good, him. Karina. I like <laughs> Thank it. Thank you. I can't believe Director Jones lied to our face. I can. That guy's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Director Jones. <laughs> Nathan, I want to do one. Can I do one? Is it Bigfoot again? I'm going to try <laughs> not to get Don't Bigfoot Don't pick Bigfoot again. this time. No Bigfoot and no Zodiac Killer. Okay, Jacob. Yes. Jacob. Yes. Your SCP, SCP-871. What it do? SCP-871 is a collection of 237 cakes. Is this Cake Boss? It's Cake Boss. Buddy? (laughs) Is this Buddy of Cake Boss? Hey, I'm Buddy. Put some cereal treats on the fondant. We all know that Buddy 
From Cake Boss is just a series of cakes with some animatronics in it. Yeah, I guess Cake Boss is technically a series of cakes because <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It's a television it's cake series. It's Cake Boss. It's Cake Boss. You got Bigfoot and Cake Boss. Instances of SCP-871 vary widely in appearance and size, covering the entire range of foods described by humans as cake. Oh, every type of cake. The smallest observed instance of SCP-871 was a miniature cupcake with a mass of 15 grams. The largest yet observed was a 22-kilogram Baumkuchen measuring two meters in length. Watch your mouth. When any is... <laughs> <laughs> was that that one cake from Cake Boss? Yeah, I think that was that one cake from Cake <laughs> you Boss. You know the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so bad at reading and also listening. <laughs> I'm very sorry if I miss any of your guys' good jokes while reading about the cakes. When any instance of SCP-871 is consumed by a human or a collection of humans, it is replaced approximately 24 hours later uh, with a similar cake. This cake will appear on a flat surface in the vicinity of the location where the previous instance was eaten. That's Buddy's dedication to always making sure there's a cake out for consumption. Yeah. <laughs> a cake on every table. Just, you know, we're down a cake, put a cake back up. I get cake down. And I cake up again. <laughs> I cake up again. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's interesting. So it the cake, if you eat the cake, 24 hours later, a new cake will appear. If the cake is substantially damaged through any means other than being eaten by a human, including being eaten by a non-human animal, it will be replaced instantaneously. By what? By that another cake? cake. It's just a new cake. Like Buddy. A new, a new, yeah, Buddy. Buddy. Buddy's like, that dog <laughs> ate my cake? Nuh-uh. That cake was meant for human consumption. I'm making one right now. Immediately. Yeah. Immediately. I already have Instantly. one ready to go. I have one ready to go. <laughs> I'm going to look up Buddy and make sure he hasn't been canceled. I'm drawing a cake man. I like the cake I, man. Oh, you got some pancakes? Yeah, I mean, I feel like if things went wrong with the cake, the replenishing cake, maybe something like this could happen. Well, it's, it's interesting you mentioned things going wrong because um, it says here that uh, SCP-871's danger originates in the consequences of an instance not being eaten. Any instance of SCP-871 which is not consumed will cause a new cake to be created in its vicinity after 24 hours. Oh. While this is similar to its normal replacement behavior, the original instance will continue to exhibit the same properties, replicating if damaged and continuing to replace itself every 24 hours. This behavior has been observed uh, in all cases where more than 10% of the mass of an instance remained unconsumed. As there are no known mechanism for halting SCP-871's replication, any uncontained instances could replicate exponentially, quickly becoming unmanageable. So the cake just keep on coming. It, if you don't eat the cake, it, you, it, you get more cake. If you do eat the cake, you get more cake, but at least... So I guess the idea is if if you eat the cake, then just one more cake shows up 24 hours later. But if you don't eat the cake, it's still there and then also another one. And so they can start exponentially cakeifying. Oh, like a cookie clicker. Yeah, like cookie clicker. <laughs> it's basically like cookie clicker, but it's cake. It's like that. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> It doesn't like make any sense. Clicker. <laughs> Cakey clicker. It's basically like cookie clicker. Cakey clicker. Cakey clicker. You gotta you gotta eat the cake or you're gonna end up with too much cake. It's like that uh that scene from uh, Matilda. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Wait, Julia, you can say it. Yeah, no, go ahead. That's fine. Go ahead, say it we've, real quick. E we've said it. We've said it. It's there. I'm just excited. Someone else brought up Matilda. I'm just, I'm really trying to think of like what scene from like what movie it's kind of like. And I wish someone would tell me. Well, it's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame I've never seen a single movie before in my life. What's a movie? 
Dang. Is it like cake? You looked at SCP-1000 and it obliterated your knowledge of Matilda. It's a real shame. I like that movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> also, you know he's got to have some cake. Oh. Uh, that's one of the kinds of cakes. Yeah, that's one of the kinds of cakes. A little bit of cake back there. <laughs> yeah. And again, if you don't eat it in 24 hours, you're, you're going to get another one. <laughs> if you try and destroy it, it's just going to show back up immediately. Yeah, you got you to gotta eat that ass immediately. You got to eat ass. <laughs> Skate fast, eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> we don't make the rules. It's written in SCP. Or else there will be too much ass. There will be too much ass. Get your friends together. <laughs> have an ass party we gotta have an ass party <laughs> after I get vaccinated I'm gonna have so many ass parties <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing I miss the most yeah it's just ass parties aren't the same when you have them over zoom you know yeah. I haven't seen an ass in person in like a year only seen my own ass and it's <laughs> pathetic hardly hardly an ass <laughs> more of a more of a rump and we're not having a rump party no it's ass party <laughs> it's a little candle on the butt okay can we maybe get some like cake pops as well oh yeah cake pops that's like they're very they're very trendy uh like <laughs> a couple years ago <laughs> yeah so, absolutely which yes. means that you know they'd they have been recreating themselves since they were trendy, and they're still here. What other kinds of cake are there? Tiramisu. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah. There's there's cheesecake, of course. There's a whole factory for those. Yeah, yeah. I do want to get a tiramisu, but I'm going to get a cheesecake first because I can envision what that slice would look like. Oh, that's just right a slice. Now. Okay. Big oh. slice. Big slice. Oh. Big slice. Big slice coming through. There's ice cream cake. Ice cream cake. <gasps> Tiramisu is usually like square, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. so you can see the layers. The square layers. Yeah. Beautiful layers. There are those um, face cakes from the, the first episode of the, the newest season of Great British Bake Off. Oh, my God. <laughs> those face cakes were amazing. I still think about the Freddie Mercury one. This is where I play the game, see how many cakes I can remember what they look like, kind You're of. You're doing great. Strawberry shortcake. That one's like a cylinder. Mm -hmm. We'll get it over here. And then it's got like the whipped cream around it, in it. Yeah. And then it's got the strawberries. Cupcake. You got a cupcake already. Yeah. I didn't yeah, see I, it. I can get another cupcake. The, the one I did German doesn't have. German chocolate cake. Black Forest Gatto. We got to get the, the sheet creamy. cake from the grocery store. Oh, uh, ice ice box cake. That's just cookies. We'll get a cookie cake over here because that'll take up a lot of room. Just like a cookie with icing. This is these these all look real tasty. I'm gonna have no problem eating these in 24 hours so that they don't um, <laughs> duplicate exponentially and fill the world with cakes. I mean, the bigger issue is that you're gonna have to keep doing that forever presumably i i assume that like we can get sort of people working in shifts to make sure <laughs> you know like I, to, I i work i do um tuesday thursday is my day to eat cake as as many of these cakes as i can and then you know someone else comes in monday wednesday this is uh this is drawfee's task now yeah we have to do it I don't see the problem with there being too much cake. Yeah, I mean, people people are hungry. Yeah, and people are resourceful. This is what What's-Her-Name meant when she said, let them eat cake. Yeah, this is what- Yeah, what, um, what was Marie her name? Marie Antoinette. Who's the one who said, let them Marie eat cake? Marie Antoinette. Is that right, <laughs> Julia? I was waiting for you to help me, and you're just like sitting over there like- <laughs> Judging. Like, watching me like flounder. It was Marie Antoinette, right? French Revolution. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm done with this one. It's a cake monster. It's a it's a cake monster. It's if cake we don't boss. Eat the cakes. This is what will happen. 
Yeah. This is a this is a warning. <laughs> You've been warned. You've been warned. Uh okay, I'm done. Amazing. It's me time. Ooh. Uh Julia. <laughs> yep. Your SCP is SCP seventeen thirty three. Good year. Object class safe. SCP-1733 is a digital recording of the 2010-2011 NBA season opening game played at the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts on October 26, 2010, between the Boston Celtics and the Miami Heat. Agents monitoring social networking sites were alerted to SCP-1733 when Boston native Redacted complained in a Facebook thread on October 27th about a technical foul in the third quarter involving players Ray Allen and Chris Bosh that never occurred in the original broadcast. When confronted, Redacted uploaded the relevant segment much to the confusion of his derogators. Foundation agents embedded in Facebook's moderator team deleted the thread and procured the IP address of all individuals present at the chat to locate and administer Class A amnestics this is the worst version of the ring so it's just a (laughs) basketball foul that didn't exist well here here we go study of the footage has since revealed the nature of the recording's anomalous properties although initially diverging from the original broadcast only negligibly such as quarter point totals and occurrences of fouls SCP-1733 has begun to markedly digress from the content of its earlier playbacks. Recorded entities have been observed to retain memory of previous playings and as such have developed burgeoning awareness of their existence. It is hypothesized that playbacks impart an unquantifiable measure of cognizance to the entities inhabiting SCP-1733 with consecutive playings greatly expanding recall of previous events. This effect is cumulative and extends to all persons in the area. So it's a recording of a basketball game that every time you play it back, the people in the recording become more aware of the fact that they're in a recording that is being Uh, played back. That's cool. I like that. Uh, That is pretty cool. Yeah. So it's just... Basketball, it's confused basketball players. It's confused basketball players and uh, uh, fans. And fans. Any Anyone who is recorded yeah. in the broadcast. <laughs> but, but the sentience is of the ones specifically in the broadcast? Mm-hmm. Wow. Like previous loops. I was about loops. to complain about how that was confusing, but it's actually quite interesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fascinating. These SCPs are pretty, they're pretty creative. Yeah, I do think that's a really fun concept. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I just like meta stuff where it's like (laughs) characters gaining awareness that they're in a piece of media, a pizza media. A pizza, pizza pie. (laughs) Hey. Oh, what if there was a Drawfee episode where- (laughs) Every time you watch it- (laughs) We get more sentience that we're in a droppy episode. Yeah, and <laughs> how do you think that would go? How would you react if you were trapped in a droppy episode? We don't remember what we do anyways, so we would watch it back and be like, "That's probably what happened in that episode." Yeah, it I would remember. take it would take five times as long for us to like yeah. feel dread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I might you know you might end up with some cool drawings. Yeah, like some somewhere in between the the existential horror of it all, I'd I'd probably draw something pretty good, I think. Yeah, and then we'd improve over time. Yeah, we'd have like infinite practice. Yeah, like how in Mario Odyssey, I get a lot better at it because I die so much because I'm bad at it. But then that's how you get good at it. But now I'm better at it. Yeah, all <laughs> source b- born games, source source. Sores, sores, born. Sores, born. Sores. <laughs> Don't worry. In the next playback of this video, you'll get that correct. Yeah, you'll I will. remember. I'll just get it worse. <laughs> but eventually, you'll get it correct. Sores, burn. Smorgsborg. 
Yeah. Smorgasbord. By like the 2000th loop, we're just speaking like Simglish. <laughs> <laughs> we're all just doing Swedish chef accents for the entire episode. <laughs> I can I can tell you what happens after certain numbers of playbacks of the of this Ooh. SCP. The Celtics finally win. Hey, Whoa. wow! I know nothing <laughs> about basketball. <laughs> that was for you, Celtics haters. Well, by playback thirty four, players and coaches became so keenly adapted to the opposing team's playbook that the score remained zero zero until 3 minutes 34 seconds in the first quarter. By playback 45, however, comprehension of their predicament had reached such a point that players declined to play altogether and assembled with the rest of those in attendance to formulate possible escape plans. Is a soccer? Hey, there's no score. Hey. <laughs> Cuz then it kind of feels like you have to keep watching it to give them time to try and figure out how to solve their issue. I'm just impressed it took them 45 times. What? Like, that's pretty short. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they figured it out. It is the conclusion of the foundation that uh, the inhabitants are imprisoned <laughs> in the setting of the recording as they have been unable to exit by any means. Doors leading out of the arena have not yielded to an estimated force excess of redacted N, uh, and the assembly has also been unable to exit from locker rooms, player facilities, and skyboxes. We gotta get them out of there. Waiting for, play for patrons arriving in at scripted points prior to the start of the first quarter has also been unsuccessful. Individuals leave uh, by where patrons entered, and are then unable to navigate and escape from the adjacent corridors that girdle the main area. Escape attempts have since grown more desperate and have included failed attempts at constructing makeshift explosives, all out riding the fracturing of the assembly into three opposing factions, <laughs> and by playback redacted, the ritualistic murder and disembowelment of players in the hopes of appeasing whatever it is that confines them. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> But, but if they got out, though, those people already exist in the real yeah. world, too. So where then, would they go? That would be an issue. I'm glad they're trapped in there. Yeah. <laughs> what if they got out and they were the same size they were on the TV? They were really tiny. <laughs> that's that's kind of was my question about, um, remember that movie Tron Legacy? Where like the whole crux of it was that um, evil Jeff Bridges was trying to make a portal to leave the Tron world with the with like the the Tron people to come into our world. Uh huh. But I was I, I thought that was silly because what what if they got to our world and they were just really small? <laughs> That's like what are you gonna do? They were just little little video game characters. They're not made of anything. Like when you go into the digital world, you're leaving your physical body behind. But there's no there's nothing. There's nothing for them to to be made out of. What if they got 3D printed? Yeah, they get they get 3D printed, I guess. <laughs> and they're just like little action figures. I mean, they hey. they they end up stopping evil Jeff Bridges anyway, so it's fine. Spoilers. Oh, spoilers. But wait, so I thought this was a digital video file. Yeah, he had to record it on something. Maybe he's watching it on the TV. You know, how you how can... is there only one copy of it? Hmm. It was uploaded to Facebook. Well, the again the the SCP moderation team came and scrubbed that and uh, and and got the IP address and wiped everyone's memories and 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 got the. the I don't recording. know. That's not how the internet works. Yeah, it's still out there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, which implies that there's multiple copies, and then your question implies that it depends on what size the screen they're playing it on if they ever escape. Is the size that they become? <laughs> well, but they can't. But they can't leave, so it's fine. Yeah, they're trapped in there, and we don't care. <laughs> They've tried, and they they can't. They're stuck. So, so maybe the best option is to stop watching it, so that they will just be in like oblivion. Maybe that's the kindest thing to do for these players. Yeah, and it's like not reversible. Like they've already gotten to the point of ritualistic murder, so now they're just stuck at that point. Have we tried rewinding? Yeah. Have you tried turning it on and off? <laughs> Director Jones. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm wondering. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's a director Jones bit where he's like, actually, it's I. It's it's all I just made it up. <laughs> actually, it's performance art. <laughs> actually, it's it's an animation. I'm I've been working on. <laughs> this, is the, this is my we web series. This is my web series. A web series. <laughs> Fine. There's no Marvel death aura. Basketballs. <laughs> One of these days, though, something's going to have a death aura and everyone's going to thank me. I think Cake Boss has the death aura. <laughs> yeah, maybe Cake Boss has the death aura. It was Familia. <laughs> it was Familia. Famiglia. Yeah, I, yeah I, it's the Famiglia. Yeah, I've spent multiple summers watching nothing but Cake Boss. Yeah, I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and a gamer? <laughs> And a Cake Boss fan? Is that a Cake Boss video game? Oh, there's got to there be a Wii. Be, right? A I'm, Wii I'm Cake Boss game. Yeah, where's that Cake Boss shovelware? Cake Boss chess dance. <laughs> cake Boss over the road racing. <laughs> cake Boss racing. <laughs> there's actually not one. What? Why? Buddy... Buddy, figure it out. You're missing out on a uh, untapped market. Yeah, where's your Wii game? You can still make a Wii game. It's not too late. <laughs> yeah, we love playing our Wiis. <laughs> <laughs> All the old people will pick it up and play it at the retirement home. I'm glad. I'm glad I gave this to you, Julia. <laughs> Look it's at just this. another really nice drawing. Yeah, it's just a just cool imagining drawing. what basketball players look like. <laughs> that one on the right just looks so tired. I think he's just like annoyed at this point. Yeah, like he's not even that upset. He's just like this shit again. It's like, oh wow, you played the tape again, huh? <laughs> Why are you still doing that? You know what it does. You saw what happened last time to Chad. <laughs> yeah, you, Director Jones. <laughs> yeah, this this one's just a Black Mirror episode, I think. Yeah. It it doesn't pose any existential danger to us. It just it just sucks for the people in there. But are they people? They're I mean they're consciousnesses. Maybe. Maybe they're <laughs> AI. Oh. Programmed. Maybe we're the AI. Oh. <gasps> What if the whole universe is the basketball game and where's the ball? <laughs> It'd be cool if uh, if we were able to make it so that this trophy video changes when you play it back. We could upload slightly different versions of it occasionally. Yeah, just every every day upload yeah. a slightly different version <laughs> of it and pretend yeah. like it's the Edit same this one. Edit out so we can do it without people knowing. <laughs> Man, what an undertaking that would be. Wait, I feel didn't we record this episode already? Why am I here again? <laughs> I think we should probably sacrifice you. Okay. Yeah. To find out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to run any risks. No, that's that's probably the safest option. Yeah. And ritualistic murder is just not the same over Zoom. No. Much like ass parties. Just, just <laughs> like ass parties. <laughs> As uh, soon as we get that vax, I am killing Nathan <laughs> straight away. We're having an ass party, and we're all going to get murdered <laughs> by ass. <laughs> the heavenly way. <laughs> we should be so lucky. <laughs> this is it. I'm done. Wow. I like this cool drawing. The range yeah. of emotions on the faces. Yeah. That's us. That's us trapped inside of our Drawfee episode. Yeah. yeah. Julia would be the annoyed one because she'd have figured it out 50 cycles ago. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still like, what's going on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. I love Cake Boss. <laughs> it's a looping video file situation. I don't know how many times I have to explain this. We're like, a looping what? <laughs> What's a video? <laughs> <laughs> Have we talked about ass party yet? <laughs> uh, we're stupid. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, thank you again to everyone on the Patreon who voted for us to do this again. The SCPs are always a lot of fun. They People put a lot of time and energy into writing these 
fun, creative sort of mind mind screws for you <laughs> for you to think about. And mind we're screws. you know they're, they're just little little screws to put in your mind and and twist and think. Ooh, what if that was real? You know. Yeah, it's fun, uh, and they result <laughs> in fun drawings. So we appreciate it. If you like what we do, you can join us on Patreon, and uh, and you'll get to vote on the next one. And uh, you, you can always like and subscribe and comment and uh, all that good stuff. Maybe it will free us from this prison we're trapped in. Maybe. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, maybe it's the video. They haven't tried just posting it publicly and seeing how well it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it might just be a, a views count thing. Yeah, it could yeah. Be. Maybe you'll be the one to free us. But uh, until then, we're sorry. 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 Until next time. Oh. Uh.